In this video, I'm going to show you how to reference a book and a journal article. I'll also show you how to do a cross-reference. So the book that we're going to reference is Hookster's book on administrative law. Cora Hookster is the leading authority in administrative law in South Africa. She is a professor at Wits University and her work is frequently referred to by the Constitutional Court as authority for propositions in administrative law. So one of the things she does is explain the significance of the separation of powers in her book on administrative law. And I'm going to refer to that um, part of her book in the statements I write next. So Hookster explains the significance of the separation of powers in the context of administrative law. Now after the full stop, I'm going to insert a footnote so that a reader will know where to find Hookster's discussion on the significance of the separation of powers in the context of administrative law. So I press the footnote function, which in your computers that are not MacBooks will be under the tab References. And as usual, I press the tab key. I'll align later on. And then I'm going to insert the details of Hookster's book according to the footnote style you've been given. So I start with her initial her surname and then I add the title of her book in italics. So I should be able to press on most computers control I on a Mac command I to get italics and then I type administrative law in South Africa in italics then control or command I to come out of italics again. Then in brackets I type the year of the book as well as the fact that it is a second edition. So this book was published in 2012 and it's a second edition. Next I simply type the page or pages that I was referring to and I was referring to pages 24 to 25 where Hookster engages with the significance of administrative law in, uh, of separation of powers at least in the context of administrative law. Then remember I've asked you to align your footnote so I grab my hanging indent button and I align it nicely like that. Great so that is how you reference a book in your footnotes. I'm going to elaborate on this um, discussion about the separation of powers with reference to a journal article there's an author called Tim Fish Hodgson, who um, is a researcher and works at an NGO doing administrative law research and constitutional law research, amongst other things. And he's published a few really brilliant articles in this area. So Tim Fish Hodgson last year published a great article on the separation of powers in South Africa. And one of the observations he makes is that the admin in the context of South Africa, the separation of powers doctrine has a particular meaning. But he also acknowledges that the doctrine is influenced by liberalism or liberal conceptions of democracy. So I'm going to make that uh, statement with reference to what I've read in Tim Fish Hodgson's work. So I'm going to say... The separation of powers doctrine. And then I'm opening a small inverted comma, uh, at least a single inverted comma to start a short quote, has been significantly influenced by liberalism and liberal conceptions of democracy. So I've made I've used Tim's work directly. This quote comes directly from Tim's work. 
and I put single inverted commas and I also put the inverted commas inside my punctuation. Now I'm going to add a reference to Tim's article. So I insert a footnote after punctuation over here and then I press the tab key and I type Tim's initial and surname and then in inverted commas I type the name of Tim's article. Now you'll have to bear with me because it's a very long name. The name is the mysteriously appearing and disappearing doctrine of separation of powers colon toward a distinctly South African doctrine for more transformative constitution. So that's the name of the article that he wrote and the place where he published that was in the South African Journal on Human Rights. So the next thing I do is I indicate, according to the style you've been given, the year of the journal in brackets, so that would be 2018, followed by the journal volume, which would be 34 sub 1, followed by the title of the journal itself, which is in italics, South African Journal on Human Rights, followed by the first page of the journal, which is page 57, followed by the page that I refer to in the journal, which is page 90. So here you can see how to reference a journal article. You have the author's initial the author's surname, the title of the journal article that he wrote, the year of the journal article, and the volume in which it was published, as well as the journal name itself in italics, and the first page in that journal in which this article appears, and finally the page referred to. Then, once again, we need to align this footnote, so we grab the hanging indent button and we line it up nicely. Okay, now I need to show you how to do a cross-reference. So, I'm going to refer again to Tim Fish Hodgson's work and do a cross-reference to that work. I am going to explain what he says in his conclusion that um, in South Africa the doctrine of separation of powers has a more radical potential than in other countries because all branches of the state are called upon to uphold the values and rights in the Bill of Rights and this lends the doctrine a normative dimension that other countries don't adopt in their separation of powers theory. So let's make that statement. However, in other words, in spite of the influence of liberalism in South Africa, the doctrine has more radical potential than elsewhere because all three branches of the state are constitutionally mandated to uphold the values and rights in the Bill of Rights. Okay, so now I'm referencing exactly the same page in Tim Fish Hodgson's work as I just have. So in my footnote, I can simply insert um, as above 
because in all respects my reference is identical and I'm going to line up my footnote if I wanted to refer to a different page let's pretend that the page I'm referring to now is page 89 then I would go as follows I would insert merely the surname not the initial because this is a subsequent reference then I would say note and I'm referring to note 7 above but I'm not going to manually type in note 7 I'm going to insert a hyperlink so I'm going to go to insert cross-reference and when I choose insert cross-reference my page will look like this um, so a pop-up will come in if I go to the insert on the uh, menu bar and I choose cross-reference and this bubble will pop up which has reference type and insert reference to in it then you'll see it says insert as a hyperlink ticked. The reference type that I want to insert is a footnote. So I choose footnote and I want to insert a reference to a footnote number. The footnote number that I want to insert a reference to is to Tim Fish Hodgson's work. So I click insert, close, and I type above and I type the page number I'm referring to. Now I have a cross-reference that will automatically update because I have a hyperlink should I change the order of my footnotes for any reason. So we can in fact change the order of the footnotes. We can add in another reference to Hookster's work. and also in, in the form of a cross-reference. So we're going to refer to page 24 of Hookster. So we just said Hookster explains the significance of separation of powers in the context of administrative law. She indicates or argues rather that South Africa does not have a complete separation of powers as the functions of the different branches of state the judicial executive and legislative branches have become increasingly blurred. You'll see that I've put this last section in inverted commas because I'm quoting directly from Hookster. I'm using her words and I want to give her credit. So that's a short quote in single inverted commas with the inverted commas appearing inside punctuation. Now I'm going to insert a footnote and I'm going to press the tab key and I'm go doing a subsequent reference to Hookster. So I'm going to type Hookster, note, and I'm going to insert a cross-reference. So I'm going to click Insert, Cross-reference. There appears my list of references. I'm referencing to note 6 above. And I'm not referencing an exact reference, the same as above, because here I reference page 24 to 25, and in this case I'm only referencing page 24. So I type 24, and I'm doing a cross-reference. I line up my footnotes nicely. And now you'll see that this footnote needs to be updated. So how do we do that? We highlight the text, and we go Control-Click. Sorry, we highlight and go control click and that gives us an update field option. It then says to us Word cannot undo this action. Do you want to continue? We go yes. And you'll see here that automatically this footnote cross-reference has updated from 7 to 8. 
And that is how you do cross-references and reference books and journal articles.